Jenkins and some surrounding areas continue to burn. Fires continued to crawl across the landscape over the weekend after fire crews managed to contain the blazes late last week. According to a statement from the U.S. Forestry Service, the fire on Pine Mountain above Jenkins had burned about 1,700 acres as of Sunday and was about 25% contained. Airdrops of water continued over the weekend as fire crews from nine states, even as far away as California, continued to battle the fires. Continued dry and breezy conditions pushed the fire over the fire lines over the weekend, and now local, state, and federal crews are working to contain the fires again. We did one 30-hour stretch, people out for that long. We've had a couple breaks where they go home and eat, sleep a little while, and we kept somebody out all night sort of patrolling to see if it's getting close to anything. And, uh, but, you know, more or less day and night, we've been out for a few days to try to keep up with it. Monday saw the first loss of a large structure as a result of the fires around Jenkins. An abandoned house on Brickyard Hill in Jenkins caught fire after the woodland fire crawled to its doorstep. The Jenkins Volunteer Fire Department contained the blaze and kept it from spreading to neighboring structures. At the Little Shepherd Amphitheater, state forestry crews and volunteer firefighters from Menifee County, Ohio County, and other areas created fire lines to keep the fire under control. The fire reached US 23 on Pound Jenkins Mountain of Pine Mountain Sunday evening. Now everyone is simply hoping and praying for rain. You know, we, we want people just to bear with us. We're getting them put out. Hopefully a little rain may come tonight or tomorrow and help the situation. Uh, the rain last week slowed it down a little bit, but it wasn't nowhere near enough to extinguish the flames. Jenkins Mayor Todd DePriest said the public has taken the situation in stride and he has asked for continued patience as crews battle the fires. We, we want everybody to just bear with us. It, it should be over shortly and uh, just they know if they need anything, they can call 911 or City Hall or the fire station and, and we'll be out uh, checking on it and taking care of it. Reporting in Jenkins for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.